Do 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 do. So how exactly do we use a gyroscope in this kid? Do we just like throw it at him or something? A very nice gyroscope. Or at least Watson doesn't skimp on the gifts. I wonder if we can just give it to him. Oh well, maybe the kid will probably not want to talk to strangers anyway. Let's uh, use the gyroscope on the boy. Let's see what happens. Huh. Surely, if Holmes wanted to be a... well... He seems to have a way with kids. You there, boy. Might I have a word with you? I'm under instructions not to speak to strangers, sir. But I do have good manners. Good day, gentlemen. What is your name, lad? My name is Paul, sir. Nice gyro. Hello, Paul. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. What is your family name? My father warned, warned me never to reveal it to strangers. He's very important to the city and has quite a temper. Might I see the gyro? Paul, how well did you know Aunt Carraway? Very well indeed. Are you chums of hers? She was my nanny when I was little. Could I look at the gyro? Do you know where Anna is now? Maybe. I think I have to go now. Is that an English gyro? Or is it foreign? Are we going to get anything else out of this boy? Well, maybe we can talk, maybe we can uh, get some more information if we give him the gyroscope. He seems to love playing with it. Do you like gyroscopes then? Very much. I have one at one of my own at home, but my father doesn't wouldn't allow me to bring it to school. Do you know how it works? It's all about inertia and centrifugal force. And, ah, uh, what not. It's the motion, you see. That's what makes them beautiful. Quite so, Doctor. Now, Paul, would you like to have this gyroscope? To keep? Oh, yes. And return. Might you might help us find Miss Anna? Is it a bribe, then? Not at all, my boy. We just need to find Miss Anna Carraway, and you're the only person who might be able to help us. You're certain that you're one of her friends? We're investigating with Scotland Yard on a criminal investigation. We are trying to keep her from harm, but we haven't been able to find her. In that case, I'll help all I can. I wouldn't want Anna to come to harm. She has a new house in East London somewhere. Someday she's going to take me there. She sings in the opera, whatever that is. Her sister Sarah's a stage actress. I, and I think Anna has a boyfriend. Looks like a foreigner who wears nice clothes. That's all. I hope you find Anna. I have to go now. Oh, that was scant information. And this is all information I found out from Caruso. Oh, well. Wait, what's this? Paul has left his cap hanging on the metal fence. Its battered condition reveals that it is certainly not the first time he has so casually disregarded it. I wonder if this can give us any clue as to what Paul's family is. I mean, he did say his father was important to the city, right? So let's take a look at Paul's cap. Look here, Watson. This hat is worn inside and out. The hatter's label is barely discernible, with a few letters that are still legible. I'll wager it reads, Eddington Equestrian. Equestrian. Eddington Equestrian. Sorry. Very likely, Holmes. Eddington's is a high-toned shop for fox hunting and, the, and riding crowd, and other people with more money than sense. It's down by the embarkment, not too far from Rotten Row. Shall we head over there, then? Oh, boy. Holmes has to deal with blue bloods? Gentlemen, you may review the premises at your leisure, but do not touch anything. Please direct any questions or concerns to me. Hmm. Well, let's take a look around. You try as... You might as well try conversing with the furniture for all the attention these two twits will pay you. Let's see what else is here. So an equestrian is sort of a horseback riding shop. They've got some equipment for that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at what's around here, shall we? A matched set of riding saddles made of extensive, exten, uh, exquisitely tanned and highly polished Spanish leather are decorated with brass fittings. 
The glowing patina of, of the seats seemed to provide an independent source of light. An antique gold loving cup of the type popular in the last century. This one is inscribed Viscount Riddlesdale, third ale of Waverley, best master of the hunt, Dorset, 19, uh, sorry, 1776. Presumably his family has some relationship to the shop. Or perhaps the Riddlesdale clan came upon hard times and sold the trophy for cash and some, at some country county, at some north county jumble or something. Hmm. A stylized hip-length jacket, traditionally worn by the British upper classes while riding, the ha while riding to hounds. Among these aristocrats, the jacket is referred to as a pink, though anyone with eyes that can see that it can discern that it is distinctly red. Let's see what else is here. These highly polished brass horns are used by the master of hounds to summon dogs and men to the so-called hunt. Let's see. I've already seen that. Polo mallets? Handcrafted hand, sorry, handcrafted of rock hard hickory wood and covered with cowhide. These mallets have the American style cigar shaped heads. The game has enjoyed an upsurge of popularity among the upper classes and their attendants since the ten hussars brought it back from the Punjab in 1869. The Punjab being uh, a region in India. Coat of arms? What's this? These framed emblems use many of the standard conventions of European heraldry, but an extra eye can detect that these particular coat of arms are an invention of some manufacturer and not representative of any known heraldic tradition or family. Wait, they're fake? Not representative. They're fake? That's weird. Why would these things be fake? A glass-fronted wooden counter. Its spacious cell shelves are littered with bridle bits, spurs, and other horsey merchandise. At one end of the counter is the display of caps, scarves, and insignia intended for pupils attending England's most prestigious public schools. Oh, that's, that's weird. I mean, in America, you hardly ever hear the word prestigious and public school used together. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good times had by all. All right, let's talk to the counterman, see if there's anything that I can ask him. I found this cap, which I believe was purchased in your establishment. Perhaps you can tell me whom you sold it, so I can return it. I recognize the cap, though I can't approve of its condition. I would like to return to it, return the cap to the owner. May I have the name of the purchaser, please? No, you may not. My clients expect, expect me to protect their privacy. They do not expect me to direct com they do not expect me to direct confidence tri tricksters and bounders to their homes trying to collect rewards or favors to which they are not entitled for all i know you may have stolen that cap you go too far sir you are insulting sherlock holmes consultant to scotland yard that is of no significance to me i have a reputation to think of Are the majority of your customers hunters or polo players? I'm sure I don't know how to answer that question. That could possibly concern you. My customers are the most refined people in London. Hmm. Watson, anything uh, interesting to say? Does this, general, does this gentleman seem to you to have taken on the haughty characteristics of the clientele he serves? Indeed, though perhaps he is disagreeable by nature rather than by training. Can you think of a way to overcome this gentleman's reluctance to assist us, Watson? Given his manner, there is very little I would scruple at. Short of threatening grievously bodily, bodily harm, I can't imagine what would pry information from him. All he seems to care about is the comfort of his customers and enhancing his own reputation. 